Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Anira Trends. Today it's a happy moment for me and here is my very new sewing machine. It's very basic one. It's not any advanced one but still I am happy that I am having my own sewing machine. It's my uh, long term dream to get a sewing machine. So here I have one and today I am going to just give you a quick review about the sewing machine. This is a famous brand we all know. It's Usha Janomi. It's a model is Allure and uh, Apart from this, it has a handle here to carry. This can be used to carry this machine to anywhere. And it weighs like 7 kg. And apart from this, it has a pedal. And obviously, plug one side, it has a plug. The other end, which is connected to the machine here. This is how it looks. Okay, and here is on off button. We can do this. This is the overall uh, appearance of the machine. Moving to the technical part of this machine, it has 21 stitches, that's what mentioned in that pamphlet. And here is uh, stitches like A to G from here, also A to G. It's, uh, it's gray and Red. it's very easy to select using the selector and length okay and this A as you can see this A and B are like most common stitches that we use for sewing and here is uh, D which is uh, used for Pico and these are some of the stitches that can be used in uh, many projects and this can be this is like uh, stitching together for three lines which can be used in uh, making a hard material like uh, bed sheets and all and if I need to do a pico I need to keep it here which is uh, C and D in between we can keep and here I can select the length basically we can keep the length uh, two and off is uh, two to two and off is normal length this is what we can select here and uh, to do the red stitches we should move this to here plus and minus that is uh, uh, loose stitch and tight stitch and here we can select our stitches based here okay this is very easy technique sorry very easy to understand and here is a pull back or a reverse stitch okay that we use for dotting and this is actually pulled in we can pull out to load our uh, thread spool here uh, we have one to make a bobbin case in this we can fix our bobbin case and do this in my next video i'll show you how we can fill our bobbin in this machine we can push in when not in use and also if you are traveling with this you can just push inside and when it's required you can fill out this is the basic it has a handle which is very hard and the machine weighs like uh, 7 kg but it's very easy to carry anyway and this is what it has in the top if we uh, put on our spool here thread will come to this place and it goes here and come back again here it has uh, one lever see it has here and uh, through which we can take and thread our needle okay do this and before going to foot and all I'll show you how we can insert our bobbin this is a case here which can also be used as storage here I have this storage 
I have all my foods here. Since it's a new mission, I have everything in the ziplock itself. Okay, and you can just open it like this way and pull out your bobbin case. Bobbin, okay. In our old machine and all, we used to keep bobbin in this, in this side, but in this uh, new one, we put like straightly and we can close it. I'll put it back. This is what this case has and the bobbin place also. And to change the foot, there is a lever, small lever over there. Lift your uh, foot like this, which has a lift. here. I'll show you that side. You have to just lift it, and there is another one. It's it's very easy to take your uh, foot. Okay, I'll show you the other foods that I have got from in those. Uh, machine yeah this is a pico foot and this is a normal one this can be used for almost uh, most of these stitches this can be used and this one is for zipper I think no no this is for uh, uh, frills folding Holding one, but I have never tried this one. Then this is for uh, stitching the button in the machine itself. For shirts and all, we have buttons, no plastic buttons, which can be stitched using this foot. And it comes with this. This one. This is what I have and and a spare needle. Okay, this is what I got in my toolbox. Yeah, this button. We can sew this button using this machine. Okay, maybe in my future videos I will show you how to attach the buttons using this machine. And it's very easy to put on our footer even. You need to just pull up your... Uh, Needle, place your footer here. That's it. Just bring down your liver. The another one important thing or interesting about this machine is this liver one. Using this one, we can easily thread our needle, which has a very tiny. I'll, uh, I'll insert a picture. It has a very tiny needle there which goes into the needle okay when we keep our uh, thread over here or to here and here it will automatically thread our needle but make sure that it's not on when you are uh, running your machine it should be goes up it's spring one if we pull down it will thread and go off automatically Okay, this is all basic about this machine. It has a similar to a normal machine. This using this one, we can remove our needle and insert. Okay, and how I'll show you on the box. Also. Yeah, this is the lever that is used to pull up and pull down our uh, foot. Pull up and down. And there is another one, small one. This one, which is used to remove the foot. Just take your foot up, and you just simply need to release it. And you can take your foot out here. Okay. And this is all very basic about this machine. I hope it helps.
tips or uh, find useful for you people and if you like this video ju then just give it a like and if you are new then subscribe to my channel till then take care bye bye friends